Hey everyone, Soundwave84, and in this review, take a look at Mr. T from the basic line from WWE Mattel Series 143. This is not the Chase variant, this is the normal ver uh, version here. You see the package, you get Mr. T right here on the side. Mr. T turn to the side, back side, Mr. T again. He is a brawler, signature move, airplane spin. Other ones in this line, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, John Cena, Becky Lynch, and first time in the line, Ashante Adonis. I have no idea who that is, but yeah. And here's the figure, Mr. T in all his glory. Now there is a chase variant, which I'll move him to the side, I'll show this off. It is actually a long sleeve version in the referee shirt with long actual black and white pants. It looks actually, he looks more like a referee. I know like he's about to run at the gym and then referee later without having to change his clothes. So this Mr. T here though is still pretty cool. He's got all the articulation. All he did is pretty much paint everything down. He's got like different hands with some gloves on down here. Really just pretty much probably the hands here from Hulk Hogan. But do a quick comparison here. But Mr. T to Hulk Hogan, both from the basic series line. I can't remember which series he was, but he was prior to this one here. Now they have more articulation. They've inserted ball joints into these guys that give them more uh, range of movement. Hulk Hogan actually gets some bicep swoops here so he can do poses because, you know, Hogan has to pose. You also get your little heels, uh, shin swivels down here. You get splits, which is something new. A lot of the old uh, basic line, they couldn't do the splits, but they can do splits now here. He gets the shins down here as well. Your knees, it's just single joints. It's not double jointed elbows or knees. It's got the singles here. He doesn't get the bicep swivel at all there. You can kick forward. Can't go back very much. He's got a big juicy butt back there, so that doesn't work. 360 on that. Now, I do have a QC issue here on my Mr. T. That is his head. When I wanted to raise it up and have him look around, it just easily pops right off. Of course, it just pops right back on the ball joint there. So, that is the QC issue I got here. I've been getting a lot of QC issues lately on my Mattel and Hasbro figures. I think out of like three of my past like five reviews, I had to mention QC problems on my figures. Two being Mattel, one being Hasbro. Bring back in Hulk Hogan. Again, he's got a not as juicy booty as Mr. T has. Now, Mr. T pities the fool who can't count past two. Yes, I've been working on that. I am lame. So, head sculpt on Mr. T looks really good. Uh, I do have a paint mishap here as well. We painted the hair black. They did leave a little bit there on his forehead. Got a mean uh, scowl going on. Like he's Yeah, he's not going to put up with anybody's crap in the ring. He's going to help his friend Hulk Hogan win the match. That's the thing I find a lot on the basic lines. I like a lot of their head sculpts better than what I've seen on Ultimates or Elites. And it's not always the case, but it seems to be the case with a lot of different uh, uh, characters or figures, I should say. Look at some of the detailing here, the white down the side. We get one sock with red stripes, a sock with three blue stripes. So it's a little bit odd, kind of punky Brewster-ish going on. We also get a white wrist tape and we get black wrist tape on the other turn the back get that signature mohawk coming down here comes around from the beard connects to the back back here turn around i do feel like the paint for these sleeves feels a little sloppy i would like to have some kind of logo for DF, but i can't remember if he actually had it on the shirt when he refereed i don't think he did now i did that variant with the long sleeves which i would prefer if they had done a second variant they should change it up and give him the wcw look i think he had like a night nighty cap on and stuff like that but this is Mr. T from the Basic Line, Series 143. He is sold out on ringside collectibles. You can find the Chase variant, not on ringside, but on other sides like eBay and stuff. And you will have to pay a little bit more money. I think I saw one for like $40 for the Chase variant. I was like, no, this is a Basic Mattel figure. Retails for around 10 to 12 bucks. For a Chase variant, I'm not paying any more than what I would pay for a normal Elite. Unless it's a... like. Someone who's just really big, like maybe an Austin, a Rock, you know, something like that, maybe. And I, you know, I had to fight myself on that. I really don't buy many basics in my uh, for my wrestlers, but I wanted a Mr. T, and he can be. I don't have a referee, and he can be my referee. They should give him an extra hand where he can actually have like a flat hand where he can count. You can have him pose as counting and give him another hand for the two. But that would be something they have to do with like an elite figure, not a mainline basic. I just brought in an old basic uh, mainline Ted DiBiase. This is from when they had like a build a figure. I can't remember if it was Mean Gene or The Fink. It was a long time ago. 
you know, they actually had builder figures in the main lines, and you only had to pay like 10 bucks per figure, and you get the builder figure. Ain't that something? Think about that nowadays. All right. Do you have Mr. T? Do you have the Chase variant? Let me know down in the comments below. Until the next ones. Peace out.